This weekend, the Welsh Nationals is coming up, and I have got a hold of one list from Spurly of the Juggernaut Bold Action Podcast. Let's go and see what he is doing for that, shall we? Here we go. Just make it a little bit bigger for you guys. 20 order dice, 12.45. That's really good. 20 order dice at 12.40. Nice. Pity though, I think it's 12.50, so a pity you can't spend the final five points, but maybe they're, they have been spent on something you can't type in on, on EC Army, maybe. Inexper inexperienced Lieutenant, Mongolian Cavalry, six man, nice. That's a very, very good skirmish unit. Very survivable. They're mounted, of course. Tough fighters, so you can charge because they're veterans as well. You can charge a little bit with them. Full strength rifles. Full strength rifles. Oh, that is an outflanker unit. Very, very cool. Commissar. Another full strength rifle. And another. Oh, so that's three. It's a horde as well. So you you get the, uh, the cavalry and then you back it up with a horde of inexperienced riflemen here. Nice. Sniper team, regular. Dog mines, inexperienced. One, two, three of those because they're the best anti tank weapon in the game. Assist three, divisional gun because sometimes you just want to reach out and touch in a nasty way. Like it. Um, the SIS 3, because it is multi purpose, can shoot as an anti tank gun if you need it, or it can shoot as a howitzer. Brilliant. SU 76i, which has AP rounds, so it can shoot as a, uh, a an anti tank gun, medium anti tank gun, again, movable medium anti tank gun, and a light howitzer. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's you have a horde, you have HE, you have anti tank. You have cavalry as well. Nice, Spurly. This is a nice platoon. Second platoon here. Another inexperienced lieutenant. More horde squads <laughs> with a commissar. Because you can. I mean, wow, there's a lot of bodies in this list. There's a lot of bodies. I like it. I, I can't figure out how to play horde armies myself. I get in my own way, but I mean... It is a really a lot of bodies in this list. Another sniper. Um, that's one thing that I often find I, I get really annoyed by. The snipers, yeah, they're cool. But if you push up beyond the sniper, you'll get in your own way. Um, maybe you will do better than me at that. Another sis. So that is three HE shots. Four HE shots because he takes another SU-76. I really like this platoon. The only thing I think I would do differently is maybe cut down one of the infantry sections here and take um, medium motors as well, just because they're very, very cheap. And that would even further boost your HE. Um, I'm not sure you need that many bodies compared to you need a lot of HE. So that's the only thing I would change. But if it works for you, Spurly, good luck at the Welsh Nationals. Um, I hope you do well. So that was the first list review of today. The second one is from Stephen. And Stephen um, is taking Germans here. Germans, 991 points. Again, a little under. I, I would ideally use every single point, especially for Germans here, because you need them all. Inexperienced Waffen SS with an extra man, just because they're dirt cheap, right? 37 points for a small team. Like it. Then we have a Waffen SS unit because you need to take one of those. These are veterans with a lot of gear. Five assault rifles, two Panzerfaust fanatics. Very, very expensive. I think overly expensive. This is still just an eight man unit at 163 points. I think it's too expensive. And he's buying two of those. Wow. I think you uh, ideally would have cut at least one of these. They're just too expensive, too like heavy into the gear, and too many points. Medic, veteran, okay. Um, with your two Death Star units here, you're going to need to have some of them survive. Chaplain, to keep them moving, again, perfectly fine. Not 
like, these two units are not going to do much. Like the medic and the chaplain, they're not going to have much of an impact on the game. Schutzen, if you could take these, these are not normally allowed engineering reinforced platoons. They are Western Desert Theater only. But some TOs will allow them. And if you can take them, do so because these are really good. I don't think you need to buy them veteran, but it's nice. Um, the thing about them is that if you're picking them um, with a single LMG, they get the LMG for free. Which is really nice, isn't it? Eight man units, they're, they're like perfectly fine. I would ideally buy them regular and then just take the free LMG and put it in the bank and just sit back and shoot. Um, Medium mortar, inexperienced, that works. Sniper team, regular, works as well. Flamer, regular. That needs some sort of transport. 250 slash 9, it's really, really good. You're going to enjoy that one. Especially coupled with the Panzer II, the looks. I've seen very good, like, top world players, Achilles of the Spanish national team. He often runs this combination. Really works out for him, because he's got... Two recce vehicles, uh, each has an, a light auto cannon, can do the same thing, can hunt the same thing. Because there are two of them, like, your tank might be able to ping one of them, make it go away, but the other one will come up and shoot you. And if you shoot that one, then the other, the first one comes back. It's a pain. Um, I really like that combination. And a Kubelwagen for the flamethrower. Veteran, so you can outflank really easily. Ideally, I would cut down on these very over expensive units just to have a few more auto dice i think and a few units that could do a little bit more than this so yeah i like it in many respects i like it i like the schutzen <laughs> god damn it i wish that they were generic reinforced platoon right that i think was it for me today i will see you in the next video cheers